Hello ladies and gentlemen, so this is a tutorial on how to use Lift Tech that's uh, in Porter version 2.0 because it got updated to support all kinds of that maps. Because if you go beyond some crossfire maps like Combat Farms and any other games, you would tend to crash. So this will fix everything and also now you can import a ship map from Crossfire because it also used to crash. Anyhow, this is how you use it. So if you don't uh, mind the package, you'll get this uh, zip file. So liftech.importer. You want to go ahead and export it. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. So liftech.importer. And in here, you're going to have a liftech data importer Unity package. You just open it, import it to your. Um, how do you say? To your project in Unity. And you're going to have a, also a deedit.exe. You might be missing a DLL, uh, I'm not sure if you are all going to be able to open it right away, you might have some, you need to install some <coughs> stuff, well just google the DLL, make sure it's not a virus, put it in the folder, and it is going to work like a charm. So this is for converting textures from DXT or DTX is it, to uh, TGA, so just create a new project to do that, okay, doesn't really matter, just create a new world, whatever. Um, then you, you want to don't really need to close it. Projects, textures, and here's where you put your that T, DTX or I don't really even remember how it's called. So for instance, if I go over to Crossfire, uh, CF Res, give me one second. There was this map that I have here that doesn't have the textures. So I'm gonna go just go ahead and do it. Uh, import text. So if you open the file with a binary editor and you scroll down a little bit uh, or just like search for the string map usually there is here yeah, so map 30 so map 30 is the map that I'm looking for so I can say map 30 and then all the DTX textures path. <laughs> so I'm going to see a frez search for map 30 here it is um, the map is AI City, which uh, apparently isn't really in here. Okay, let's let's uh, recheck that. This wasn't planned, by the way, if you couldn't tell. So AI Bess, AI Bess, uh, AI Bess. Apparently, everything is coming from AI Bess. If something is missing, well, too bad. So I'm gonna copy all of these. I'm gonna go ahead to the textures folder, paste all of those. You can close the other stuff. So go back and open the edit. Uh, I recommend closing it so it updates everything per usual. So you can go in either here, uh, but I, I accidentally picked the the tab and move it here. You, should, you would normally see like a textures tab over here. You would click the folder and we, you would see exactly these uh, this thing. So you want to select all the textures, right click and export TGA files. You click on yes and it should be done. So go back to your textures folder, go ahead and write DTX and delete all of those. You don't need those anymore. Um, okay, so now take all your DTA, not DTX, TGA folders, not folders, textures. Uh, you want to go now to Unity create the resources folder it needs to be in the root of your project and it needs to be called resources the exact same thing that's where it will search for the textures so you open that resources folder and you you want to place everything in and if these were in a folder on the res file you want to put them in the same folder like you see here versus floor and then the text is in there you want to make sure everything is right and dandy so that's good I'm gonna go ahead and copy those to my resources folder oh apparently I had them up oh, whatever so okay now you're good to go all you need to do is Put your that file around in here. It's this is a that file. You don't need to make any changes. Just right click, lift tech, convert that. <laughs> it can take a little while, not much. So okay, let me just make sure I can. There you go. So you can see it's converted now. 
There's some black pieces and whatnot. That's just uh, because I don't have some t transparent textures that they are missing. So this uh, usually would be transparent. As you can see behind this, there's still um, walls and mesh and data uh, and whatnot. Um, but yeah, everything is working. It puts the textures automatically and all that. Now, for you who don't want to use it inside Unity and want to export it, there's an asset store. There's a. If it loads, there's an asset called OBJ Scene Exporter. Let's see if I. There you go. Scene OBJ Exporter. So you can just import, uh, download. It's free. You download and import this package. Uh, then you go ahead and go to File. Export Wavefront OBJ. You want to make sure you set this to auto mark text, text readable, and you export, and that's gonna give you a OBJ file. Which, if you import to Blender, make sure to put on text mode so you see all the textures. It is gonna have all the textures already applied, which is pretty neat. So just for I don't know, I'm gonna show you <coughs> some other combat arms maps. So you want a head, I don't know if you know it. Um, these take a little bit more, I guess they have more geometry. Um, but there you go, it imports it. So if I uh, walk around the scene. There might be some pink objects. Uh, this is because I have some effects textures missing uh, from a folder called FX. Uh, it's not, it's not a biggie. You can uh, easily import that. So there you go, you can walk around, you you have pretty much the map. Um, the damn cameras doesn't want to cooperate with me. So yeah, this should be familiar to you if you play combat arms. Anyway, so I'm going to show you just one more map of Ghost Town, why not? I really like this map, by the way. Never played the game, but I really enjoyed the map uh, view from, uh, from Unity. So this is the map. Some of the trees you might be like, oh, they're not transparent. Um, one way you can fix it, it's, well, go here to the texture. Instead of vertex, uh, simply go ahead and select the unlit texture cutout. Um, and you can see it works. You wouldn't need to do this for every single mesh. Uh, and for all the materials where it, that thing is. Uh, but another thing you can do is right click, lift tag, and convert that and but fix transparency. That's going to work, but it's going to take a lot longer to, to convert. That's pretty much it. That's how you use it. So have fun, I guess. <laughs>